And we are live. Welcome back, everyone. It is time for another live sale with Lori Blue Flamingo Mercantile and I. I see everyone's joining us. Welcome. We're going to have some fun here tonight, as we always do. I see we got Judy in the chat, and Sonia's back, and Tammy's here, and my folks are here. So welcome, welcome. We appreciate you all coming out. We'll just let some folks roll in. Welcome to everybody. I'm glad to see that we have some people here. It's going to be a, a good a good sale tonight. And we each have 20 items and we're going to do four at a time and rotate back and forth for y'all. And we're going to do our best to be done by six o'clock because Kim at Oh My Vintage has her sale at six right after this one. So while everyone's coming in, guys, this is the time that if you want to share, if you have any upcoming sales or channel events or anything, you're more than welcome at the beginning and at the end to share that. Um, so if you want to put that in now just while we're getting started and I'm going over the rules, um, most of our items are going to be set prices. You've done this before. We'll show you an item. And Lori's dog is saying hello and welcome. Yes, and he's also saying, hello, mom, 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 come here, quick, come here, mom. <laughs> so how the live sales work is we'll show you an item, we'll describe it, then we'll tell you the price, and we will give you a number. Now, the first person to type the number into the chat that we see on our gets the item. Make sure, if you can, that you are in live chat at the top of your um, chat. You'll see... Uh, I think it's like three little lines and click on that and make sure you're in live chat. We have an offer up tonight. She's just all sorts of popular right now. I lost her. <laughs> if you do an offer up, what'll happen is we'll show you an item and say it's going to start at $10 and then we'll start telling you about it. And if you'd like the item, you can type in 10. And then if you really like it, someone else can type in 11. You can go up in dollar increments. And then when you're done offering up, you just say out. And whoever is left standing gets the item at the end. Now, if you have bought from me in the past you and you buy something tonight, you don't have to resend me the information. I have it. If you have not bought from me or Lori before, our emails are going to be right on the title block there. And they are also in the description. Um, let's see what else. We're both shipping from Florida, but we are not combining shipping because we don't live right next to each other. So shipping will be separate. So make sure if you buy from me and you've not bought before, you email me. Same thing for Lori. Lori, do you prefer they email you even if they bought from you before just to be? Yes, in case I don't have it for some reason. That would Yeah, be so different. if you buy from Lori, make sure you send her an email with your info, which would be your real name, your address, your PayPal email, and shipping is additional, guys. I see Kim's joined us. Hey, Kim. I saw Amy Cox is here. Hey, Amy. Did I miss anyone else? Kim, we appreciate you hopping on before your sale tonight. I bet you're getting ready too. All right, well, we are three minutes in, so I'm gonna go ahead and get started, guys. And I know some people do pre-registration. If you feel more comfortable with that, I am okay with you guys emailing me your info ahead of time so you don't forget afterwards, but it's just not required. Hey, Katie, welcome. Hi, Katie. And my husband, John, is helping me behind the scenes. He's over on the counter with his computer. You'll see John Cantrell in the chat. He's moderating for me. Lori is watching her own items tonight, so just bear with us, and we'll help shout out to her if we see anything. And we'll all work together, and we're going to have some fun. So you ready to rock and roll, Lori? I am. All right. I'm going to go first, so I'm going to pop the screen, and here I go, guys. So I thought I would start out the night with a little dog. This is a cute little spaniel. It reminds me almost of a Joseph original style dog, but unfortunately the label is worn and I can no longer tell the maker. It does have this M6237 on the bottom, so that may be an indication. I just thought he was real cute. He's only about two inches tall. And if you like this little guy, He's going to be six dollars and number 72. Six dollars number 72. Let's see. And I see Judy Scallet for the win on the dog. Thank you, Julie. Judy. Okay, 
Now, some of you may have seen my Valentine's Day vignettes that I did, and I actually had these shakers in there. These are plastic rose salt and pepper shakers. They're really cute for your Valentine's Day and holiday decor. These guys are going to be only $6 and number 64. $6 number 64 for the rose plastic salt and pepper shakers. And they just open like this. And they say Jaden on the bottom. And now I can't put it back together. Okay. That was $6 number 64 for the rose shakers. And I know a lot of you in here love the slag, the slag toothpicks, the slag little horns. I see Mary's join us. Hi, Mary. Hi, Connie. Welcome, guys. So if you love the slag, I have, this is showing up kind of olive green, but in person, it's a beautiful lime green slag. And I don't know if you can tell, but there's strawberries in it. So this is a strawberry pattern toothpick holder. It's green and white slag and footed. It has no damage. It does not glow though, guys. I did test it and it does not glow. So for the slag toothpick holder, it's $8 and number 69, $8 number 69. I always think of Nate when I see these. Ooh, getting notifications. All righty. And then my fourth item in my first round, I'm sorry, I'm getting some pop-up notifications, guys, pardon me. My final um, item is going to be a set of hankies. This is the first one. It's lovely black and white and pink. It doesn't have any issues. It doesn't have any staining. And this guy is about 11 and a half by 11 and a half inches. So that is the first one in the set. And the second one in the set is a little larger. And it actually, my ruler doesn't even, it's probably about 13 inches by 13 inches. And this is beautiful lace, pink and black. So I thought these two were just really pretty in a set together. This one again has no issues. Thank you so much for helping Katie. I appreciate it. So for the set of hankies, it is $8 and number 61, $8 number 61. Hello. Hello. My first item is this really pretty um, toothpick holder. I don't know if you can see, but these are actually swans and there's three of them. They go all the way around. This is from Westmoreland and it's a melt glass and it's really heavy duty. This toothpick holder is going to be $10. $10 and it's number 95. 95 for $10 for the Westmoreland toothpick holder. For my next item, I have something that's really cute. I have this super Ooh. duper <laughs> poodle planter. I love this poodle planter. She's pulling out all the stops for you tonight. Oh, though. look at that side eye face. Oh my gosh. His, his side eye face is so funny and the eyelashes, he's so cool. He does have one tiny, teeny, teeny, tiny chip right there, which can be easily fixed no, with no worries. He is not marked with any markings, but I just love this. Here's the back of him. I just love this poodle planter. This poodle planter is going to be $17, and he's number 64. 64 for the poodle planter. OK, 
Okay, my next item, and I actually have, there's going to be five of these. these Lori, are, I see Mary Cox for you on that one. Thank you. Thank you. Hey, Miss Jeannie. Um, I have five of these really pretty, pretty uranium sherbet glasses, and these look like the, the Cubis. I don't know if you can see it really well. There we go. The Cubis. Now these do shine. Let me shut this light off and see if I can get them to, maybe I can. Nope, you can't see it when you're on the computer for some reason, and these really glow, but it's not showing up. But these, like, a uh, bright green, bright, bright green. And these are going to be $20 for the set of five. There's no chips, no cracks, nothing on them. Like I said, there's five of them. Those are going to be $20. $20 for number 54. I see Mama's Treasures for number 54. Thanks, Mama's Treasures. Hello, Belinda. Welcome. My next item is going to be this adorable puppy. He looks like some sort of a bulldog by his facial features. However, if you look really closely, that dog is peeing and his anatomy is correct. <laughs> <laughs> Just wanted to let you know, it's definitely a little boy dog. This little boy dog is going to be $15. And he's number 56, number 56. And that's my four items. Sorry, John, I heard you over here. <laughs> I, I love that dog. People for you, Lori. Mm -hmm. Miss Connie got that one. Connie, okay. All right. Well, I'm not sure how I'm going to follow the poodle uranium in the correct the dog but i'm gonna give it my best shot here okay so i'll see your poodle with another poodle and this has a h6086 on the bottom so this is probably like a little home co poodle it has no condition issues it's a great sitting one it's just got real cute airbrushing i love the eyes and the little look at the tongue sticking out it's given a little bit of attitude i'm trying to see if it has any blushing on the face no this one doesn't but this cute little guy is $10 and number 74. $10 number 74 for the poodle. Oh my, I'm still laughing about that. Okay. Next, I thought I'd bring a little piece of art for you guys. This is, now I was an art major, so I should know the difference between oil and acrylic, but it's been a while and I'm, pretty sure that this is an acrylic because it's not super shiny, but it's just a little tiny nature scene. It is not signed. It has a pretty like kind of plastic frame. It's mounted nicely. And to give you an idea of size, it's a six and a quarter by five. So this is really cute for a gallery wall or a little vignette. So this original piece of art, is tonight is going to be $10 and number 78. $10, number 78 for the original art. Guys, I just love the mountains. Okay. And I think maybe I messed up on my numbers. So we might have the same numbers, Christine. I noticed that because um, I'm 60 and up. Yeah, and I thought I was 50 and up, so. Okay. <laughs> That's okay. Um, we'll, we'll do 83, um, do a number and then put your initial. How's that? Okay. We'll figure it out. Oh, thank you, Mickey. 
Yeah, I did. I have the roses for Valentine's Day. I don't know if you guys can see that. Mickey's commenting on my nails. Okay, so this next guy, I, let me see what that one is. Do you have your glasses on? Hold on. I'm getting tech support here. I'm not supposed to say the number out loud. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Well, anyway, I have a planter for you guys. And it's a pedestal planter. It's a lovely, like soft, um, almost like an avocado green, but it's got the speckled in it. I'm not sure who the maker is, but I thought with St. Patrick's Day coming up, this would be a lot of fun in a vignette because you could even turn this upside down and stack items on top of it, and it would look really cute. So for this guy, it's going to be $8 and number 65. Eight dollars, number sixty-five. Hey, Christine, Christina, thanks for stopping in. <laughs> it's hard to get good help these days, folks. Hard to get good help. <laughs> and then my last item is another set of the doilies. Now, this one I was a little, I was a little bummed because I pulled it out and brought it over. And I noticed that it does have a little bit of seam damage. So if you can see in the middle there where it is starting to pull right here from age, it is starting to fade. But I thought someone might still be able to frame this and save it somehow because it's such a lovely piece. Or you could cut out the parts of the flowers that were still good. So there's this one. And then there's also this one, which has no issues at all. It's a cute little pink hanky. The set of these are going to be $6 and number 70. $6, number 70. Hey, Beth. Okay. And that was my four already. I know. We're going really quickly. I know. Okay. I got to slow down. My next item is going to be now just one little pixie. Not just two little pixies, but I have three. I'll never get used to this camera. Three little pixies, all waiting for a new home. Great for Valentine's Day, St. Patrick's Day, in the garden, anything you want. These three pixies, yes, all three of them together, are going to be $15 and number 83. $15 for the three pixies, number 83. Those are really cute for spring. Yep. Okay, my next item for, for St. Patrick's Day is my little leprechaun that's having a lovely, lovely drink. And he's just sitting on a little basket with his legs crossed, one winked eye, no chips, nothing. He's not marked, but I'm sure he's pretty, I'm pretty sure he's Japan. He is going to be $12. And he's number 99. $12 number 99. Okay. Oh, I got Amy Cox for the little leprechaun. Thank you, Amy. Hi, Julie. Day trip vintage. Welcome. I saw AG's retros entered. Hey, guys. My next item is this horse. He has no chips, no cracks. He's really, really pretty. He is a masterpiece porcelain by Homeco 1982. It's amazing that he hasn't been broken into a million pieces. He's so pretty. This horse can be yours for $17 and it's number 70. 
Number 70 for the horse. $17. Okay. My next item is going to be one of my favorites. Is this really cute toothpick holder. The dog with his tongue out. He's got He's pretty darn shiny, and he's got poke. He's really cute. His toothpick holder is a top hat. This can be yours for $15, and it's number 51. Number 51. There you go. That's and that's cute. my four. Okie dokie. And I got Judy for that. Thank you, Judy. That looks like something Judy collects. If you guys don't follow uh, Judy Scala on uh, Instagram, she's got a great collection of littles. She posts some really cool pieces. Connie was a close second there. Connie liked that as well. Mm -hmm. Thank uh, you. So next up, I have a planter for you. And this is a black lamb planter. This guy, he's chonky. He's like American made. He's got a little bit of weight to him, but he's just really cute. I feel like there's a little wear around the neck, like it may have had a ribbon originally, but I thought with spring coming, this would be really cute in a vignette. I want to double check. I didn't think he had any issues. There might've been one little spot. There's just a little ceramic wear right there. But otherwise, this little guy is in great condition and he is going to be, I wish you could see the face a little better. He's got a cute little face on him, little nose. He's going to be $9 and number 76. $9, number 76 for the cute little lamb. <clears throat> Our cat Holly had us up at three o'clock this morning. So if I'm a little zony guys, I apologize in advance. <laughs> Black sheep of the family. I see what you did there, Beth. I see what you did there. Oh, that would be cute with the pink ribbon around it, Judy. You're right. Next up was a favorite in one of my Shop With Me videos, and it is a set of Made in Japan Little Piggy Salt and Pepper Shakers. They are super cute. And what I discovered when I got home was that this one actually had repair. You can see right here where the foot has been repaired on it, but otherwise it has no issues. A little red paint wear. And this is its friend. Look at those, look at that blue eyeshadow. Don't you just love that? Hi, Dana, welcome. Hi, Miss Bev. I just love this as a set. Oh, is Pickle Tink here? My chat is lagging for some reason, guys. I'm not catching everyone entering. So if I missed you, I'm sorry and welcome, guys. We're happy you're here. So again, this is this cute little set of piggy shakers is going to be $10 and number 60. $10, number 60. Look at the little pigs with the blue eyeshadow. What did I miss? Oh, I'm so sorry, Susan. I'm sorry to hear that. Our prayers are with you. Thank you, Carrie Ann. So next up, I have a little bird for you guys. This is a Japan piece, just a pretty yellow bird. It does have a little glazing loss here where almost, it almost seems like they just missed it when they were pouring it is what it feels like. It's just soft. It's not, I'm sorry, not soft. It's just the, you, I don't know how to describe it. Like you can feel the ceramic under it, but it's not super rough. That's a pretty little yellow bird. Oh, hi, Erin. Welcome. This little guy is going to be $7 and number 63. I just really like the colors for spring. I thought it would be pretty, and it is a Japan piece. I like the little airbrush work, and that's, that's part of the paint. That's not a mark or anything. 
So that guy was $7, number 63. Now this next piece, there's Michelle. I think I finally just saw the chat pop up. Glaze slip. That's probably what it is, Erin, the glaze mist on there. So next up, I'm bringing out the ephemera, guys. Now I did get this picking one of the boxes at the flea market, I will say. So the cover does is a little dirty. And it looks like someone's pet got to the corner of this. But look at this, guys. Glamorous movie stars of the 30s paper dolls. You get Judy Garland, Greta Garbo, Carol Lombard, Joan Crawford, Nancy Carroll, Jean Harlow, Constance Bennett, Jeanette McDonald. So this came out actually when I was looking these up online. These were popular in the 70s. So I think on here, and I'll show you. You can see right here is where like someone's pet got to it, which in my house would be the cats, but this didn't happen at my house. And you can see there's a little bit of aging on the cover. But the cool part is that the dolls are still in great condition and they are all there. So this is the Greta Garbo one. Um, let's see. Carol Lombard. I love that leopard jacket. Check that out. Hi, D. Welcome. Everyone's joining. Thank you, guys. Thank you for the thumbs up. And thanks, everyone, for subscribing. And if you're new and you haven't subscribed, go ahead and make sure to hit the subscribe button. And Lori also has a YouTube channel. So make sure you check her out as well and subscribe and hit that thumbs up button. I couldn't have gotten to 1,000 without you, and I really appreciate it, guys. So here's the Greta Garbo. I don't know if I showed you this one already. So, and then they have the blank pages, which is where I guess you could stick them. And any other cool ones? Oh, this one's pretty. Look at those. But this book is going to be $10 and number 79. $10, number 79 for the vintage paper dolls. What? <laughs> Looks like Lori got it. <laughs> All right. And that was my last item. Thanks, Christine, for those paper dolls. <laughs> Very excited. Okay. My next item is this really pretty, and it's green. You really can't tell that it's green, but it's a green owl. He's pretty good size. There's my head. He's about the size of my head. But the best part is he's a planter. He is made in Japan. It says it. Made in Japan. And he is going to be $15. And he's going to be number 73. $15 number 73. Okay. Erin says, Do you, does Carrie know you're selling that? <laughs> I think she does. If not, oh well. My next item, which I'm trying to get the lid off. There we go. Is this cute cat canister. And has a great lid with a knob on it. It doesn't say who it's made from or anything like that. But let me get this off for you. There we go. And it's pretty darn clean inside, I think. So once again, it's all of these kitty cats. This would be great for cat snacks. Or people snacks, it doesn't matter. This is going to be $10. And it's number 87. $10, number 87 for the cat container. It's a Binks canister. It is a Binks canister. 
It is, it is. My next item is the Stars and Bars Fairy Lamp. Ooh. There's no chips, no cracks. It's all really nice. Uh, let me see if you can see the, the pattern. There's the stars and the bars. This amber fairy light is going to be $25, and it's going to be number 50. $25 for number 50. My next item, if I can grab them. Here he is. Is this little? Oh, Connie got number 50. The fairy lamp. Thank you, Connie. Next little item is this little elf playing a drum. Let me show you the back of him with his little gold trim. And there's his drum. Here's his face. How cute is that face? And those ears, pretty darn lovely. He's, he's very lovable. <laughs> okay, and he is going to be $10, number 72. $10, number 72. And let me see. Sorry about that. Oh, Lori, Amy Cox got that one, number 72. Oh, thank you, Amy. Here's another little leprechaun. This is awful cute. Look at the Irish tonight. <laughs> yeah. And the little shoes. Made in Japan. And the little ears. And this one is going to be $15 and it's number 78. $15, number 78. I think that's it. Okay. I might have done one more than I should have. <laughs> that's all right. We're doing good on time. Okay. We'll just take right, it. Guys. So I'm going to do my only offer up of the evening. So what I'm going to tell you is that this item is going to start at $10. So when you see it, if you're interested, you would start by typing in the word 10 and that'll start the offers and then they will go in dollar increments. Now, if you were watching my Instagram today, or if you can look at my Instagram at Side Street Market, this is the item I have. This is a green flower frog, but it has uranium in it. So it glows a really beautiful green. We were testing the lights here and it's not letting me show it like it did, but you can see that this is gonna light up amazing. So this guy is going to start at $10. So if you're interested, just put $10 in the chat and we can go from there. I really wish it would. Oh, Dana, that's funny. <laughs> Lori, did you see Grace's comment? Yes, I did. <laughs> now I'm gonna have a little mermaid stuck in my head. Mm -hmm. So we have Belinda at 10, so $11. Michelle is at 12. And like I said, I'm sorry you can't see it on the screen, guys. We don't know why, but if you can see my, um, and whenever you're out, if it's the highest you're gonna go, just go ahead and type out so we know. Dana Grace 2010 is at 16. Mickey's out, Michelle's out. So we have Belinda and it looks like Grace still in the running. This will be really beautiful for St. Patrick's Day. The bottom is a little bit rough where the holes are, 
but I just, I've never seen like a bright lime green one like this. So I thought it'd be really, really cute. So Belinda's at 17. 17 is the high right now. Reese is out. Okay, I'm going to count down from five. Belinda, five, four, three, two, one. Thank you, Belinda. For 17, you get the uranium flower frog. I can't wait to see what you do with this. And that was up, but that came in after I said. I'm sorry, guys, with the lag, but I called it before I saw you, Laura. I'm sorry. This lag's killer. So Belinda gets the flower frog. I'll keep an eye out for another one for you guys. And Laura, I don't think I have your info. So just make sure you email me at sidechainmarketsales at gmail.com. Okay, we'll see that there. All right, next up, I have another set of handkerchiefs. And with this one, I call it my watermelon theme. So this is the first one. It's a really pretty, it's one of those pinks where it goes dark to light, dark to light. And it's got the beautiful green and I didn't see any staining or issues on this one. So this is the first one. And it's a 12 by 12. And then the next one I'm putting in with it this is like one of those citrus yellowy greens with these beautiful roses on it. So it looks kind of mustard yellow on the screen, but it's a citrus like green yellow. It's really pretty with the pinks of this one. And I didn't see any issues on this one either. I'm just double checking so I'm not making myself a liar. Oh, thank you, Belinda. That's sweet. Laura, Belinda's going to let you have it for the 18. Thank you, Belinda. You guys are always so nice. So for the set of these, they're $8 and number 68. $8, number 68. Yeah, everyone's so nice in this community to each other. It's really, it's really wonderful. Next up, we have a cutie. And this just says Japan on the bottom. But he's kind of like one of those QP piano babies. All right, Beth, drive safe. And what I love about him is his he's in great condition, but he's holding a little baseball. And then he's in his diaper, and his diaper has its own safety pin but he's sitting on a baseball glove. Can you guys, how cute is that? He has all his fingers and toes still intact and he's just, he's just ready to hit that ball. He's ready to go to the ball game and he is $10 number 66. $10 number 66. I've not seen one like this before with like the diaper and the safety pin. So I thought it was really cute. that and then I have another ephemera piece so this is a book that has seen some love and I will say it does have a little it has some must to it because it is older and this book is 1930s and it's called best poems for boys and girls the binding is starting to go because it is a cardboard and it does have the wear along the top so this would be really cute taken apart as a junk journal but I just thought it was adorable for spring. Hey, Christy. So that's the front cover. And then this is the back. I love the graphics. And it's very, very delicate. Like it's those wonderful old pages with the brown. And it's even got someone's little like drawing in it. And then like here's the inside cover. I'm trying to be very ginger with this. The little shepherd lamb and city fairies. It's just a really, really, really cute book. So a kitten. 
really great graphics. So this children's book is going to be $6 and number 75. I know as soon as I saw this, I thought that this would be beautiful in a spring vignette for someone. But like I said, it does have a little bit of a must odor and I just don't have a screen in porch. Like I feel like if you set it outside away from the element for a little bit, it would help. Sonia, oh, it's 75, number 75. I think Sonia wanted it. Perfect. Thank you, Sonia. I appreciate it. Okay. And I think, Lori, that was my four. Okay. Oh, I have to put you back. That would help, huh? Yep. You're on, you're in control. <laughs> <laughs> Sorry. <laughs> okay. My next item are these two calico kittens. They're actually salt and pepper shakers. One has, I think they both have two little holes in their heads. But I've never seen calico cats out and about and they're just so cute. One is like sitting on her, laying down and one is sitting. Kind of hard to hold on to them. They're, they are very little. They're probably two inches, three inches tall. These two little calico cats are going to be $12 and it's number 80. $12, number 80. My next item is going to be this little girl. She's an elf. She's got the red hair, freckles. She's got the little shoes on. Very, very cute. Made in Japan sticker. She has no chips, no cracks. She's just really happy. She's going to be $12 and she's number 78. $12, number 78. Hi, Mary. Okay. My next item is this beautiful stretch Ooh. glass. I guess you could say it's a vase or a picture, one of the two. But look how beautiful that is with the white, white and orange. And it's got like ribs and it goes up to the spout. There are no chips, no cracks. I can't find anything wrong. So this white and orange stretch glass vase is going to be $20, number 52. $20 for number 52. Who gets that one, Lori? Hmm? Connie? Connie. Thank you, Connie, again. Hey, Connie first. Mm-hmm. Hi, Joanna. Okay, I'm reaching. My next item is going to be these Bonzo Salt and Pepper. I'm salt, I'm pep. And their names are, they are Bonzo, they're called. They have their stoppers made in Japan. But let me show you one of their faces. It's so cute. Oh, okay. <laughs> that's just that's Pep. Yeah, that's Pep. And here is Salt. Isn't that adorable? They are so cute. So the set of these is going to be Twelve dollars, number ah sixty-eight. <laughs> number sixty-eight. Okay, I think that's it for me for right now. How many more do you have? Because I think I went one over. I have four left. Oh, okay. So I do have this one right here. It's my offer up item. Okay. 
Number 68 went to Joanne, Precious Lavender Buttons. Okay, my next item, and I know I can't do this justice. It is this uranium bowl. It has ribs all around. It has a unique square bottom. There's no maker's mark, so I don't know who it is. There is one little chip underneath. Here it is. It's under the rim. I don't know if you can see it right there. But this thing glows like there's no tomorrow. But just can't see it that well. I don't know why. But this is like bright green. The whole entire thing is bright green. And it sounds really good when you hit it. <laughs> we want to try not to do that. <laughs> there you go. Ding. Dinner's ready. Yep. Cooking this bowl ready. is going to be an offer up. I'm going to start it at $15. So the first person to put in $15 will start the bids. Once again, it's a uranium, gorgeous, gorgeous bowl. I see Mama's Treasures at 15. The bowl is 11 inches around and five inches tall. And it's gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous uranium glass. $15 for Mama's Treasure. Anybody else? I'll give it just a few more seconds and then that Mama's Treasure will steal it at $15. Going once, going twice, sold to Mama's Treasures. Thank you. And I think that's all I have, Christine. Okay. We're good. Yeah. Four items left. And in honor of St. Patrick's Day, I have this green hobnail compote for you guys. I don't know if it's Fenton or not. I don't know if it's a replica. It's a lovely bright green. It's coming out a little olive green on the screen. I love the ruffle detailing on it. And it does have the more pointier hobnail, the smaller that fades to the larger at the top. That is reminiscent of Fenton to me, but I don't want to say 100% that it is Fenton. Hey, Crafty Jackie. Hey, Tammy. So this green hobnail compo is going to be $14 and number 62. $14, number 62. I'm trying to hurry just a little bit because Kim's sale is coming up. Next, I have this wonky eyed. It is a single shaker, but he is a bigger guy and I think he's just cute all on his own. Look at those crazy eyes and his top hat. I absolutely love this guy. He is four and three quarter inches tall and he's going to be $9 and number 71. $9 number 71. Okay. Then for the dog people, I have one more dog item tonight. This is actually a salt and pepper shaker set. Oh, someone, okay. And it is a dachshund in its dog house. There is a little tape residue I was not able to get off and on the very back, so it goes like this, right? You see his, let's see if I can get my fingers out of the way. So the head is there. 
the little tuchus is sticking out, but when you open them, it says the other half. Now on this one, because these are a very fine ceramic, there is there are two little bumps here, but I just I haven't seen anything like this, so I thought they were super cute. So for the pair of docks and salt and pepper shakers, it's going to be ten dollars and number sixty-seven. Ten dollars, number sixty-seven. And then my last item is another ephemera piece, and this is a cookbook. So this is Betty Crocker's Outdoor Cookbook. It's a spiral bound. And I just really like the graphics in it. This one is 1961. Look at those colors. And then look at the picnic image on the back. I thought this was really cute. It's got some color recipes, tools for the outdoor cook. Um, just fun graphics, packing trip cooking, you can get pork, and I just love the graphics on this. This would be cute in a vignette as well. So for this outdoor cookbook, it's $8 and number 77. $8 number 77. And that is my last item. Um, Lori, did you want to maybe do three more items each and then wrap it up if you had anything. Yes, that would be great. Okay. And I just wanna mention real quick, um, guys, thank you everyone for coming out tonight and for hitting that thumbs up and that subscribe and supporting Lori and I, we really appreciate it. And I want to let you guys know if you love ephemera, my storage unit sale next week, I'm gonna have cabinet cards and uh, music sheets and you'll see it in the live pre-sale, but I'm just giving you a heads up. Lori, take it away. Okay. I'm going to go ahead and show this horse. I just think he's so pretty. There's no chips or cracks on him. He is a Home Co 1982 piece. There it says it. That's upside down. And this horse is $17. He's so beautiful. And it's number 70. Number 70. $17. And, excuse me. The next one I want to show is this, the owl planter again. He's very, very nice green. He's great green. And he is a planter. Made in Japan. And This owl can be yours for $15 by giving me number 73, number 73. And then last but not least, I'm going to show this cute cat connector. It's only $10 and it's going to be number 87. Number 87. And that's my Christina. Thank you, Joanne, for getting the cat. Thank you. All right. So my first item I'm going to reshow is this green and white slag toothpick holder. It's got little strawberry patterns on it. Here you can see the indent in the strawberry, it does not glow. It is not, um, doesn't have the uranium in it, but it's just really pretty for like St. Patrick's Day or summer decor. It's a lovely bright green. It's $8 and number 69. $8, number 69. Lori, did you have a number 87? I believe I did. Belinda got that. Okay, I got it. Thank you. Thank Welcome. you, Belinda. Then I'm going to reshow this set of hankies. This was a pretty pink and black pattern here. And then this one also was the pretty pink and black. And you get the set of these for $8 and number 61. $8 number 61. And then the last item. I'll show again, it's this little acrylic painting of this nice little 
uh, mountain scene with the water. I love the floral frame. It's plastic, but this is really cute for a gallery wall. This guy was $10 and number 78. $10, number 78. And that is it for me, guys. So let me. That's uh, the books, guys. <laughs> Thank you all very, very much. I uh, really, really appreciate everybody's um, support. And I look forward to next month. Yep, we'll be back the second Tuesday of next month at 5 p.m. here on the channel again. And um, if you guys are looking for another sale, Hop on over in a couple of minutes. Kim of Oh My Vintage is having her sale. So we'll see you all there. Have a great day. Bye. Thank you.